Acts 26 verse 18 to open their eyes, to turn them from darkness to light and from the authority of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who have been sanctified by faith in me. A revelation is the opening of a veil. As you are teaching the young people, you should be taking away a veil so that they may see something of the triune God. A certain matter may be hidden from view, but by your teaching you should gradually open the veil. This is teaching. As they are listening to you, the veil should be rolled away little by little. To teach is to roll away the veil. Now we can see that for the Bible to be profitable for teaching means that it is profitable for unveiling, for rolling away the veil. Time after time and in session after session, you need to gradually roll away the veil. If you do this, your way of teaching will be an unveiling. This kind of teaching always presents a revelation to others. Those who are under such teaching will be able to see something concerning the triune God. Whenever we see something of God, we realize our mistakes, wrongdoings, shortcomings, and sins. The result is that we are convicted, we are rebuked. When in our reading of the scriptures we receive a revelation, the revelation will convict us and rebuke us. Teaching, or revelation, brings us conviction, and conviction produces correction. Correction is a matter of setting right what is wrong turning someone to the right way, and restoring to an upright state. After we have been corrected, we will receive the proper instruction, the instruction in righteousness. Whereas Paul here does not use any modifiers for teaching, conviction, and correction, he does use a modifier for instruction and speaks of the instruction in righteousness. Righteousness is a matter of being right. Hence, the instruction here is for us to be right. A man of God is a God-man, one who partakes of God's life and nature, thus being one with God in his life and nature and thereby expressing him. Such a God-man, such a man of God, is produced by God's breathing out of himself. God's breathing produces God-men. Praise the Lord!